Hello, and welcome to this Amcrest video tutorial. Today we will show you how to insert and configure a micro SD card in your Wi Fi bullet camera, model number IPM723 and IP3M943. We will also show you how to record video footage from your camera directly to the micro SD card, as well as how to play back that footage on demand. Before you begin, Please make sure your bullet camera is plugged in and is connected to your Wi-Fi network. If you haven't already set up your camera with the Wi-Fi app set up using the Amcrest View Pro app, please check out our other video to learn how to set up your IPM723 or IP3M943 bullet cameras. After your camera is connected to your Wi-Fi network and is added to your Amcrest View Pro app, your camera is now ready to receive your micro SD card. The card slot is located on the underside of the camera body. It is hidden inconspicuously behind a small closed door for added security. You will need to remove the two screws using a Phillips head screwdriver to expose the embedded card slot. The card slot will be located under the LED light inside, below the reset button. There are many different kinds of SD cards on the market. Since live video will be recorded directly to the micro SD card at high resolution, it is best to choose a class 6 or higher micro SD card for optimal recording and playback speed. You can use any micro SD card brand of your preference, but the class should be 6 or higher in order to safeguard against video skipping during playback and to prevent choppy recordings. Your bullet camera will support micro SD cards with a capacity of up to 64 gigabytes. For efficient usage of your storage card, your camera comes set up by default for cyclical recording, which means it will automatically record over the oldest video footage on the card with the newest video without the need to delete old content manually to free up space. Please note that you will not be able to access older video that was recorded over. This option can be changed manually from the menu screen if you do not want to record over your content. You'll have full control over your recordings and can manage them however you'd like. To permanently save or back up all your recorded content and clear the card to reuse it for future recordings, you can back up the content from your card onto a local computer hard drive, USB flash drive, Amcrest NVR or cloud storage via Amcrest Cloud, and then delete the content from the card. Please select the best suitable option for your specific situation or needs. To begin, please insert your micro SD card with the gold contacts facing up toward the reset button. Push it in all the way until you hear a light click. Once it's inserted, go ahead and launch the Amcrest View Pro app on your mobile device. Let's go over how to set up your camera for recording video first, and then we'll cover playback second. In order to get your camera to record, you must first schedule a recording. To do this, tap the menu icon to access the menu in the top left corner, then tap Configuration Center, and select Recording Schedule. Select your camera from the device list, and you will see a 7-day, 24-hour calendar of your scheduled recording times. Tap the Edit icon in the top right corner. Here you can specify the day of the week, and copy this scheduling rule onto other individual days of the week, or for the whole entire week. Below you will have six different recording times. The default setting will have the first recording time filled in from 0 hours, minutes, and seconds to 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds. Motion detection and alarm will be turned on by default. You can select normal recording as well, which records all the time. This setting is suitable for the needs of many standard users. However, if you have different situations where you want to start and stop recording, you can set specific start and end times. Say for example, you have a camera at your business, and you take a one hour lunch every day, and you want separate recordings for your morning shift, lunch hour, and afternoon shift. In this case, you can have recording number one set to 6 a.m. until lunch starts at 12 noon. Recording number two can be set at 12 o'clock in one minute until the end of lunch at 1300 hours or 1 p.m. 
Please note, the times here are shown in a 24-hour time format, but can be changed to 12-hour. Finally, recording number 3 will be from 1300 hours and 1 minute until the end of the afternoon shift at 1800 hours, or 6 p.m. Also, if you want an after hours or overnight recording to record past midnight, you can set recording number 4 from 1800 hours and 1 minute until 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds. And then recording number 4 to start at midnight, or 0 hundred hours, until the following morning shift at 6 a.m. After you are done scheduling your desired recording times, remember to tap the save icon in the top right corner. You can select normal recording, motion detection, and alarm as well. Then tap the save icon in the top right corner. Then tap the back arrow. You'll see your modifications appear on the recording schedule. Now we will move on to the playback of your recorded footage. In the menu in the top left corner, tap Playback. A four-channel window will appear with a 24-hour timecode slider with play functions below. To load your video, tap the center circle with the plus icon in one of the windows. Then select your camera from the device list. Then choose the date of the recording you want to play back, and press OK. Then select the start and end times, and tap OK. Once it connects, the video will populate in the window you selected, and will begin playing automatically. To enlarge the video, simply double tap the window to expand to full screen. You can easily pinch and drag directly on your device's screen to access the digital zoom as well as move around the image. Double tap again to return to the 4-channel view. You will see the black timeline below turn partially green where your video timecode is displayed. On the timeline, you can freely slide through your video, or skip directly to a precise point in the timecode by tapping in the green area. Below the timeline is a playback controller where you can easily pause and play your video skip, as well as increase the playback speed up to 8 times, or play it back in slow motion, as slow as 1 8th speed. If you're having connectivity issues due to Wi-Fi or your cellular network, please refresh the playback feed. If the video feed drops or loses connection, tap the menu icon again and tap playback to access the playback feed once more. We hope this video has helped guide you how to configure, record, and playback video on an SD card on your IPM723 and IP3M943 Wi-Fi bullet cameras. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and check out our other instructional videos from Amcrest Technologies.